What's up everyone? Damn boys back at it man. So here goes the deal. This is going to be part three now. <laughs> that many. Part that many <laughs> of our uh, split clothes custom stack. So Dangerous Corners part two ended up being part one. I got those right. Of the custom stack. Then we dropped Mesh for part two. Now this is gonna be Z Spot. Uh, like always guys, I haven't mentioned this for a while, so if there's anybody new, I wanted to mention this. We are going to go into packages. We're gonna hit left on the right stick to strong slot. Then we're gonna go over here to, it's gonna show Coop. We're gonna put Cobb in. That'll tell you that you still have a tight end, but when you come out, you do not. So Z Spot. One thing I love about this play, guys, is you can run this anywhere. I always tell you I like the corners to the short side. Well, there's a corner going either which way. It doesn't matter. Um, and it's just it works great for the middle of the field, too. So this is where how I start my games now. So, to, again, to create our uh, custom stack, we have to flip the play. You can do that at the play art or here. I recommend doing it here. Uh, just to mess up any defenses that people could be setting up. You have no idea how annoying it can be when you're setting up a defense to have someone flipping stuff around on you. Uh, unless you've experienced it. Which many of us, I'm sure, have. So here goes what we're left with. A simple high-low to either side of the field. Right? That's always what I'm preaching. Right? Let's get a high-low to either side of the field. So now we've got... Uh, first, I just want to show you against cover two. So again, whichever side the user goes, you look the other way, throw the ball. Pretty simple, just make your high-low read. Um, you know, I don't really think that I need to focus on YB a whole heck of a lot. I'm sure we're all fairly familiar with throwing table routes. Uh, I will say rack catch it. If you want your running back to you know, catch it smoother and keep running out towards the sideline, it does make a difference. Uh, but really where this play is, is made is this X is a really excellent little high-low read. Uh, so let's watch a X. So this is just going to be, a, we'll say, a cover two, shaded back. That's typically what you're going to see. He always comes open for a nice little four, five, six yard gain. Uh, and it's, it's super consistent, right? They're going to have to hard flat that. Uh, so let's say, okay, they're sick of the crap. So they come out of it, they go into a cover three, and they hard flat. Doesn't matter, baseline, don't, don't baseline, don't care, don't matter. Um, not going to affect what we see. But that's maybe something like what you would see in game. So we'll duplicate that. Uh, again, we'll focus on XA. It's really nice too because oftentimes they do end up underneath that hitch. So it's not like a user can try to click on and jump back or even the computer, you know, try to jump back because he's kind of pins himself which is kind of another unique factor with this. Uh, now, since we are making quicker reads, your wild card can be Pollard on a hitch, right? So if they start doing something, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So if they go Mabel on you, Now, <laughs> if I didn't get insta shattered, you can see how that would come open, right? Because that is something that someone may try to do, is give you a cover three Mabel type look. And, you know, yeah, they'll get a bunch of coverage out there, it'll, it'll wrap that up, but then that's kind of another progression within this play. Um, I was, I mean, I'm not going to say spamming at every single play, but I spammed this play pretty heavily throughout Weekend League with very few people having a ton of success at stopping it uh, and when they did when i started hitting them with some of these other plays that i've given you guys uh, out of this custom stack then it really seemed to wind them up um, so uh, guys like comment subscribe as always appreciate the support um, before we go into the game footage, I'm going to show you a new setup you can use for your wide receivers uh, that will work phenomenally with this scheme from an ability and X-Factor standpoint. 
So let's check that out quick. All right, guys. So this is how I have my receivers set up. Uh, Holt in the slot. Uh, I've shown you guys how I've set that up. Uh, then I have T.O. as my number two receiver. And this is what I want to show y'all right now. Because this, and when I say this works for this offense, I don't just mean this stacks. I mean all of our split clothes. All of it. Trips, doubles, all of it. Anything, all of it. Uh, as you can see, he's kind of a big deal. Um, <laughs> 90 speed, 91 jump. So, I mean, T.O. is a guy that I really strongly recommend. Uh, he's just kind of perfect for this being a bigger physical guy going across the middle, running hitches, running short outs, um, less likely to fumble when he's getting hit, etc., etc. Uh, but you can do it with any receiver who has the ability to get these particular traits. Uh, out corner elite, I mean, perfect. We have a lot of plays where he's going to run a little short out. We have a ton of corners, right? Shallow corners, deep corners, all the corners. <laughs> Um, another thing that, like, uh, on x Trail Trailer, Money Play, and on a few others, Slant, not MASH, Slant Specialist, very nice. Uh, then, Matchup Nightmare, right? Now, that covers a lot of those short routes, a lot of the time you'll have linebackers on him. Uh, but also, the other thing he does is run hitches or curls, right? Usually when you're running hitches or curls, you matched up on a linebacker. So this really kind of covers him for every route that he would be running in this offense. Um, and just... <laughs> Ugh, it's nasty, guys. It is so nasty. So those are things that I highly recommend. Um, and then I threw double me. I mean, you know, whatever. I could have went Moss. I already have that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, one of those two. Just because that's super cheesy. Wins aggressive. I mean, so, okay, it's single coverage, so I can just throw it up. You know, it's kind of like having Moss, <laughs> kind of. Um, so, guys, that's what I recommend. Check out this in-game footage. Enjoy this play. Enjoy this scheme. Enjoy this ebook. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. What do you have right now leading in the MVP race? Is this quarterback's edition only, or can we actually bring other people oh, no. into we, it? Yeah, go wherever. Because the go league does choice. tell you that MVP can be anyone, but numbers show us it's really got to be a quarterback. So let's just start there, right? Russell Wilson in Seattle. I, I think he has to be a prime guy. I think you have to look at Tom Brady, all right? It's always Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes, if he can get back into the lineup and be his usual self, he could get into the 29-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball. On the right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. On first down. Man open. That's Terrell Owens. And he fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased.